Welcome to The Late Show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. You know... <laughs> you know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is so rare for Americans to hear good news out of the Middle East. But yesterday, we got some. Because the president announced that U.S. special forces had killed ISIS leader and guy clearly rationing his just for men. <laughs> huh. Abu... Abu... Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. Al-Baghdadi, a notorious terrorist responsible for the death of thousands. A true monster. So I would like to thank and congratulate all the brave service members in our special forces who risked their lives and got this job done. Take your time with that. Oh man! Just take your time with that. No rush. And here's the thing: I would also like to congratulate President Donald J. Trump, but he just makes it so damn hard. (laughs) Jeez. Because when he broke the news yesterday morning, Trump's entire press conference was about himself. Last night, the United States brought the world's number one terrorist leader to justice. From the first day I came to office, and now we're getting close to three years, I would say, where's al-Baghdadi? I want al-Baghdadi. They'd come in, sir, we have somebody under... I said, I don't want somebody. I want al-Baghdadi. That's the one I want. Yes. Trump was... was obsessed. You might say he had al-Baghdadi issues. (laughs) Then then Trump started describing al-Baghdadi's last moments, and uh, things got pretty graphic. He reached the end of the tunnel as our dogs chased him down. He ignited his vest. His body was mutilated by the blast. To get to his body, they had to remove a lot of debris because the tunnel had collapsed. There wasn't much left. The, uh, the, uh, the vest blew up, but uh, there are still substantial pieces that they, they brought back. Do we really need to know that at 9 a.m. on a Sunday? <laughs> The best part of waking up is hearing how the guy blew up. (laughs) Now... (laughs) Then Trump bragged about how important this event was. This was the big one. This is the biggest one, uh, perhaps, uh, that we've ever captured, because this is the one that built ISIS. This is the biggest there is. This is... Uh, the worst ever. Uh, Osama bin Laden was very big, but Osama bin Laden became big with the World Trade Center. I remember. Yeah, I think... (laughs) Pretty sure that's why they shot him. Uh, You know how I know that killing bin Laden was a big deal? Because Barack Obama never had to say that killing bin Laden was a big deal. (laughs) It was... a big deal. So is this. It was very big. This was very big. Don't get me wrong. Killing Baghdadi was a big deal. It it, it was bigger than the Bin Laden announcement in one way. Uh, Length. Trump delivered a 50-minute performance compared to Obama's nine-minute speech. Keep in mind, that was Obama. So you know four minutes of that speech was, uh... (laughs) Look. Then, <laughs> then, the Barack the Obama. The the Barack Obama. There you go. Barack Obama. 44. Then Trump described al-Baghdadi's death using one of his favorite metaphors. He died like a dog. He died like a coward. He died like a dog. He died like a coward. Ah, yes. I remember when I was a child, my dog, Mr. Fluffles, got sick, and (laughs) we did the humane thing. We gave him a suicide vest and chased him down a tunnel. (laughs) I remember that part. I'm afraid he's exploded a farm upstate. (laughs) 
wrong with this guy? I don't know what's wrong with this guy. Of course, it wouldn't be a Trump press conference, or really a Trump anything, without some shameless self-promotion. You know, if you read my book, there was a book just before the World Trade Center came down. And I don't get any credit for this, but that's okay. I never do. But here we are. Uh, I wrote a book, a really very successful book. And in that book, about a year before the World Trade Center was blown up, I said, there is somebody named Osama bin Laden. You better kill him or take him out. Something to that effect. He's big trouble. No, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't do that at all. You didn't say that at all. Not even close. We looked. We looked. We looked at your 2000 book, The America We Deserve, and you make a passing mention of bin Laden, who, in the book you say, Bill Clinton had already tried to kill. So you were predicting something that everyone already knew. In my next book, <laughs> I predict you'll be hearing big things from this Taylor Swift individual. She is... <laughs> she's really going places. Time to take her out. Okay. <laughs> no one listens, but that's all right. Shake it off. <laughs> now, Trump did... <laughs> Hate is gonna hate. Get on. Uh -huh. Trump did give ISIS credit for their internet prowess, sorta. They use the internet better than almost anybody in the world, perhaps other than Donald Trump. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> Donald Trump's a master of the internet, and he <laughs> he proved it on Saturday when he tweeted simply, and I'm not making this up, dad, dad. <laughs> Dad, dad. Dad, dad. Dad, dad. Mm, mm. Now, on the face of it, that might seem stupid, but if you read between the lines, <laughs> it's idiotic. <laughs> Tr dad, dad. Dad, dad. Now, Trump also found time to talk about the operation. They did a lot of blasting, even not going through the front door. You know, you think you go through the door. If you're a normal person, you say, knock, knock, may I come in? Uh, the fact is that they blasted their way into uh, the house in a very heavy wall, and it took them literally seconds. Good point. If you were a normal person, you would think that special forces hunting the world's most wanted terrorist would go up to the front door and say, knock, knock, may I come in? <laughs> I mean, we've seen it. We've seen it in all the best. Yeah, it's, uh, in every movie. All the movies. All the movies they do that. Yes. That's what they do every time. We've seen it in all the war movies. All right, men, move out. You know the plan. Brooklyn, Kowalski, Mickey, surround the house and lay down suppression fire. Then you, Jackson, you haul us ass right up to that front door and you say, knock, knock, may I come in? <laughs> now, if no one answers, this is important, Jackson. Listen up. If no one answers, you leave one of those sticky notes that say, <laughs> we tried to make a delivery of bullets to your body. Sorry we missed you. We'll be back tomorrow between 10 and 4. Move out! Let's go! Come on! Uh, you see how Trump makes it so hard to congratulate him? He could just come out and say, we got him. Thank you to our brave troops for bringing this man to justice. But the fight's not over. Vigilance. And leave. Easy peasy. No impeachy. Instead... <laughs> Come on, now. Instead... He Every ruins night. the moment. Yeah. He ruins the moment. He says, now let me drop trow, give everybody in late night plenty of flank to spank. <laughs> Sorry about that image. I apologize for the image. Now... Trump also made sure to thank one of America's strongest allies in the region. I also want to thank the Syrian Kurds for certain support they were able to give us. And remember, the Kurds did this even after Trump's decision to withdraw American troops left the Syrian Kurds to confront a Turkish offensive alone. That is truly going above and beyond. It's like your ex volunteering to help move your waterbed after you cheated on her and forced her to fight the Turkish army alone. <laughs> Then, oh. 
Trump defended his pullout of troops from Syria, with one exception. We're out, but we are leaving soldiers to secure the oil. Now, we may have to fight for the oil. We should be able to take some also. And what I intend to do, perhaps, is make a deal with an ExxonMobil or one of our great companies to go in there and do it properly. Shh. <laughs> You're not supposed to say that out loud. <laughs> Ixnay on the Udble for oil, yay. <laughs> That's why they call these missions things like Operation Desert Storm or Operation Iraqi Freedom, not Operation I Drink Your Milkshake, Money, 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 Kaching. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. Queen Latifah is here for the one minute turn. Trump strikes out at the World Series. Mr. Brown.